Hello everyone, welcome to the 5 day question series for NABARD grade A and I am going to discuss the important ARD questions which were being asked in the previous year examination. So the related questions have been framed out of the topics which were being asked in the exam. So let's begin with the first question. Pulses fit well in the cropping systems as they are. So various options are given over here. We need to identify the most appropriate one. The first statement is moisture stress resistant crops. Now this can be the answer as pulses require less water to grow. Let's look at other options as well. Long duration crop, this is incorrect. Disease resistant crop, this is again incorrect. And the third, the fourth one, which says, which says that short duration crop. Now this is correct statement and more appropriate than this moisture stress resistant crops. Now there are various features of pulses because of which the in fact the government also suggests farmers to grow pulses when there is uh, less water or when they are not able to grow their main crop properly. So pulses are short duration crops. Now what are short duration crops? Basically we consider those crops which can grow in less than a year. They are considered as short duration crops. And when we talk about pulses then they can be grown in fact in less than 90 days. Therefore, super short duration crops you could say. Now, what are the other features of pulses? So, they do not disturb the other or the main crop while they are being grown with the main crop. Next is they have deep roots. Now, deep roots means they open up the soil which means the better aeration is there. Also, they provide the protective ground cover. So, they are soil erosion resistant we can say. And one of the features is short duration crops. Now because of these features, the pulses fit well in the cropping system. Now if we look at other short duration crops, so they can be millets, sunflower, maize, these are all considered as short duration crops. If we talk about the long duration crops, so long duration crops are those which take more than a year. Now could you tell me the examples of the long duration crops in the comment section, which are the crops which are considered as the long duration crops? crops. So name some long duration crops in the comment section. The next question is what is the contribution, the approx contribution of Indian fisheries to GDP of India. So approximately 1.07% of the GDP is being contributed by the Indian fisheries department. So the answer for this question is 1%, around 1%. If we look at the agricultural GDP, so fisheries contribute around 5.15% to the total agricultural GDP. Now there are various facts regarding the fisheries which you must remember. So if we look at the per capita fish availability, the per capita fish availability in India is 9 kg. What is the current employment in the fisheries department? So it's 14 million in India as of now. What is the per capita fish consumption? So it varies from 5 kg to 10 kg. This is the per capita fish consumption in India. Now as of the as per the World Bank data report and for the year 2016, India ranked at the third position in terms of the fish production. So do you know which country is the largest fish producing country in the world? Do you know the name of the country? So mention that in the comment section that which country is the maximum or the country which produces the maximum amount of fish in the world. Also which state in India is the maximum fish producing state in India. These facts are very important with respect to the uh, NABAD grade A examination and the grade B as well. So the state which produces the maximum fish and the country which produces the maximum fish. While you are watching this video, take a screenshot of the data facts which are being provided so that you can retain and simultaneously participate in the comment section so that you know what exactly is the answer of these questions as well. Next and very important question. So there was this question in the previous year paper regarding the micronutrients as well. So which of the following is not the micronutrient of the soil? So first of all, fertilizers are used to supply the plant nutrients. Now if we look at the major categories of nutrients, so there are two categories, macro and micronutrients. The major micronutrients are nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, more popularly known as the NPK. So what is the purpose of these nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium? What is the major role which, are, which they are 
playing while uh, being the macronutrient of the soil so nitrogen helps in the leaf growth the major contribution by nitrogen what is the purpose of phosphorus so it develops the roots flowers these are being developed by the phosphorus and if we talk about the potassium so the strong stem growth the promotion of flowers and fruits that is done by the potassium so these are the major contribution being done by the macronutrients now there are other three secondary macronutrients as well so three secondary macronutrients the secondary nutrients are calcium magnesium and sulfur very important to remember now coming to the micronutrients so the major micronutrients are zinc copper iron manganese don't get confused with the magnesium magnesium is the secondary macronutrient and manganese is the uh, primary micronutrient silicon is the micronutrient if we talk about the secondary micronutrients so cobalt boron these are the secondary micronutrients so manganese is the micronutrient cobalt is also the micronutrient sulfur is actually the secondary macronutrient so the answer is sulfur for this question copper is again micronutrient and iron is micronutrient next question is match the following so the list 1 tells about the important nutrients and the list 2 tells about the diseases which is caused by the deficiency so these are the nutrients and these are the diseases now for nitrogen among these buttoning of cauliflower is due to the deficiency of nitrogen so a comes here so if there is deficiency of phosphorus then the purple coloration of maize is due to the deficiency of phosphorus if you can see here and if there is deficiency of copper so this was asked previous in the previous examination as well the deficiency of copper causes the dieback of citrus so the dieback of citrus is caused due to the deficiency of copper for calcium the blossom end root or ber of tomato this is the disease which is being caused due to the deficiency of calcium now let's look at these nutrients one by one so some facts regarding nitrogen is that it is essential constituent of protein so essential constituent of protein this is a fact regarding nitrogen and other disease which could be caused due to the uh, deficiency of nitrogen can be the starvation disease so apart from buttoning of cauliflower starvation disease is caused due to deficiency of nitrogen so fact regarding phosphorus is that it increases the disease resistant resistance of the crop and it is said that due to the deficiency of single element phosphorus the life cycle of plant can't be completed so it is known as the key of life of the plant this is very important to remember that key of the life of the plant is phosphorus for copper it is very essential for the photosynthesis so if we talk about the disease which is being caused so excess gumming occurs due to the deficiency of copper so apart from blossom and root of tomato uh, the deficiency which is the disease which is being caused due to the deficiency of calcium uh, so suppose for carrot the cavity pits or cavity spots actually develops due to the deficiency of calcium for apple if we talk about there comes the bitter pits the brown bitter pits which are there so these are some of the important facts and diseases which are important for the exam point of view the last question is which of the following refers to the migratory fish that move within fresh water only so we'll be discussing each one of these categories and then we'll come to the answer of this question so i'll divide this in three portion the first one being the movement next is the breeding ground and third one being the example so we talk about the oceanodromous fish so these are those migratory fish that move within the salt water and they breed also in salt water and what can be the example of this so black grouper is the example of this oceanodromous fish now coming to the amphidromous fish as the name suggests they live in both fresh water and salt water and if we talk about the breeding so they are independent of the breeding so they can breed in both fresh and salt water what could be the example of the amphidromous fish so mountain mullet is the example of amphidromous fish for catadromous fish these are the migratory fish that live in the fresh water but they breed in the salt water 
sector and what could be the example of this so american eels mostly eels are considered to be this the european eel american eel they are considered the example of catadromous fish for potamodromous fish they move within the fresh water only and simultaneously they breed in the fresh water only so we can say that oceanodromous is the opposite of potamodromous as oceanodromous is for salt water and salt water potamodromous is fresh and fresh water and what could be the example of this potamodromous fish so the flat head catfish is the example of potamodromous fish the last one the anadromous fish so they live in salt water so the movement is in salt water but they breed in fresh water so the example of this is salmon fish now catadromous and anadromous they are complementary to each other as it moves in fresh the catadromous moves in fresh water and breeds in salt water anadromous moves in salt water but breeds in fresh water so pause the video and take a screenshot of this to remember each one of these categories of migratory fishes they are very important from the exam point of view and if you could name just name some of the other examples of these fishes the examples you can mention them in them in the comment section so this is all for the ard video for day 6 the course links are already available in the description and do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you have learned anything from this video thank you so much for watching the video